So the first area of the tape I want to highlight is the 60, the test of the 65 level. Ideally on like a breakout, especially on like, for example, a growth name, I want to see the offers lift that level and we aggressively trade to the next area of resistance very quick. Um, for something like an energy name, I actually give it a, li a little bit more time. If it's fighting for that level, that's okay. But by no means should it trade underneath the lows of the day. And that means that the trade is uh, not working. So I'm going to keep an eye on that 65 level and see how the, the tape reacts there. So this is right on the open? Yeah, this is literally right on the open. Like We just opened up here. I could actually back up a little bit. So this is the open right here. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you saw that really big offer. Let me see if I could slow that down actually really quickly. So we get into that 65 level. It, it happened really quick, but you can notice that there was a lot of offers at that 65 level. You see right there? Yeah. So uh, that's how I know that if that lifts, that this should break out pretty aggressively. Yeah, and plus you have you have stuff stacked before that. So if pause, go back five seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have some stacking into here. You have stuff stacked open. stacked before that as well, and so that's that's really interesting information because you know it only takes a moment to to kind of think about it. But if you see that, it's like okay, this this is a really important level. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So once that lifts, I'd probably get long into here, risking low of the day. And what do you want to see now on the on the tape? Like now you're above 65, right? Yeah, so if we get pull into 65 or to VWAP, uh, I want to see those get bit up pretty aggressively. Like I said, this is an oil name, so it doesn't have to be that aggressive. But in this area, we should see overall buying. So like this pull in right here is actually super important. I, I'm going to stop out if it gets above the VWAP, which was 64, 67, right? Roughly about that. So uh, I just want to highlight right here that we're going to get a bit up from this level. We see another offer there at 65 and then we lift again. So this is, right here would give me confidence to stay long here. Really, really good price action so far because we then cleared to new highs, right? We didn't go above 65 and kind of hang out for a little bit. We actually like sprayed up to new highs. So now you have that 64, what was it? 64.80 or something like that, where you don't even really need to get it to low of day. It really shouldn't drop 64.80 at this point. Yep. If this is going to be a really good trade, so. But I am noticing any pullbacks into 65, that 6480-ish area, the VWAP is being bought up. So that's exactly what we want to see. So just speeding this up a little bit. I think we pretty much stay around here for a little bit. Which is even better, right? Because we're above the level. Mm -hmm. We are spending time above the level. They keep trying to take it lower and are unable to. So I think that those are all huge checks in your favor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I actually believe I took a little bit off into here. So like one of my reasons to sell is if it hits a standard pivot point and rejects that price. Notice how we came into that 65.45 and quickly snapped that. That's something I don't want to see if this is going to be like a really strong momentum breakout. I kind of want to see us get above these levels aggressively. So. I think I took off like 10% into there. Yeah, 
It's tough that you're only looking at a five minute chart here. Um, the reason why that's tough is you're not seeing how much consolidation is occurring. Like where's the consolidation occurring? And like you can kind of piece it together off the tape, but like I'm really surprised you're not using a one minute chart here or a tick chart or something like that, particularly on this setup, because this setup is such that you want to see exactly what happened, but in your chart, you can't see it at all because it's a five minute thing. You know, when you're transitioning into, into a trade, when you know it's a trade to hold, then you can use a five minute bar. But right now, like based on the tape, you could update the, the stop to probably like 65.15, but you can't see it on the five minute. So you're still probably risking, you know, at least, in that bar, you're risking to 64 and a half, right? Yeah, I think at this point, I'm pretty much risking under 64 or 80 still. Yeah, okay. But like, we, it spent, you know, three or four minutes higher. So you could probably update your stop if you have a better, if you have more, more current information. Yeah, and I think that's pretty important too, because actually what I did here was I noticed that the SPY and Qs were starting to get a little steep to the downside. And I thought that we were going to have pretty much this gap fill day on the SPYs and Qs. Now at the time, XLE was pretty strong. I should have had a bad chart pulled up here. I have it on my other monitor looking at it. But um, at this time, like I was thinking that if this was going to be a really strong breakout, we shouldn't really be testing the 65 on this next five minute bar. So when we start to reject into here and the spies start falling, I actually take off the position and we'll go over my executions in the next few slides more in depth, but um, I'll, I'll just note it, show you what happens here on the yep. oxy tape. So that's a really strong rebid right there. I mean, while the spies and, and queues are falling. Then we make new highs there. And this is a really nice uh, reclaim of that level once we test it into the VWAP. There's that offer at 66. That could be somewhat important. If that rejects that price, that's another reason to sell if it doesn't lift there. And we get above that really nicely. If you want to learn three more real-world setups that our traders use, including the simple setup that we teach all of our new traders, and the setup that turned one of our traders into a seven-figure big money earner, check out the free webinar that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right-hand corner of your screen. That will open up the free registration page in a new window, so don't worry, you won't lose this video. You can also visit tradingworkshop.com to register for this free intensive workshop. You're going to learn more in a couple of hours from this trading workshop than from years of online education. The thing that's interesting here to me, and you can keep playing the tape and we'll call out if we see anything interesting, but the thing that, that I find so fascinating is, you know, reading the tape is a skill, right? And there are times and setups that you know you're gonna to have to read the tape more because the trades that you're gonna get out of those setups are gonna be more tape specific. Um, this opening drive trade is incredibly tape specific, uh, not just in, in you know, your initial entry and in your, your target, but more importantly in your trade management. Um, 
you know, for an opening drive trade, you have no idea if this is a huge opening drive, this could go to 70 in, in, you know, on this day, you're looking for signs that it, that it will do that. 70 would be what? Two ATRs would be up six bucks, but you know, an ATR, almost two ATRs. So, you know, how many breakouts have we seen that have gone up two ATRs? Like a lot, right? Um, so it really wouldn't be that surprising, but you're having to make a decision very quickly. And that's where the tape can be kind of the best opportunity. What I saw from this was you had that move up to 65. You had a lot of selling or attempted selling at 65. None of it took it lower. And, you know, then the bidders were just spraying it up. And not only did you, did the tape say, listen, I'm not stopping at 65, but it also probably trapped some shorts who then are, you know, we're thinking, oh, this is going to fail at 65 and, it, you know, it's going to come in and it just didn't because it spent so much time there. You know, this isn't like 10 minutes straight up. This was about, you know, a minute straight up and then four minutes sideways and then another minute or two up, which is a very different set set of, of, of trades that you're really looking for. Um, so your ability to read the tape in this particular trade on this breakout setup is something that you, you really need to make sure that you're maximizing. And, you know, you don't want to be selling too early here. You just want to be selling when you have a reason to. Yeah, and I think I pretty much stick with this opening drive here. And yeah, the next pull in that I wanted to highlight was into here. I'll just show this really quickly. So we get into the next area, my next target, which was 66.80. And we pull uh, into the VWAP. I think this is an area that I need to be a little bit more aggressive in adding. And I'll just show you how clear it is on the tape here. Yeah, absolutely. If you've taken if you've taken more than 40% off, you have to be really aggressive on the pull. Mm -hmm. So SPY is selling off here, trying to fill that gap. We're getting that pull in into VWAP. So once it holds that 66.20 for the second time, I think right there is not a bad spot to add. It's tough because if you're if you're adding there, you really that's a momentum add. You need you're you're playing for it to continue that breakout. You can't really add there and then not hit out of that if it drops below, because then your average is going to be kind of in a weird spot. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Like if it if it tries to if you add sixty six twenty and it tries to it tries to lift here to 66, 50, 66, 60, and then they sell it right back down, you have to hit out of that ad. Like you, you just can't because then you're 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 running the risk of what if it reverses there. Then you're you, you're adding from bad prices and all that stuff. And remember, when you're making tape trades, it's never about what happens when it works. What happens when it works is you you kind of look for continuation. When you're making tape trades, you it's really about how do you use that information when it doesn't work or when it stops working. 
That's really the beauty in tape trades is if you're buying into that second attempt at 6620, you know if it doesn't if, if it doesn't like actually lift and move exactly like this, you're basically out. You don't you don't have a reason to stay in it if you're making a tape trade there. But that's the best part about a tape trade. You bought it at 6620, you're risking maybe 15 cents and it goes up 80 cents. So you don't have to be right that often if you can control your risk because your risk reward is so good if you're if you're using the tape the right way. So there's another offer there at around 67 and we lift that. So after we get above this area, we pretty much trend for the rest of the day, a little bit choppy uh, towards the upside. And we closed at the top 80% of this range. And then we start to see big bids into there, supporting that 67 area. Because like, I think the most important moments in this trade have been figured out already. Yeah. We've already seen them. We saw what happened at 65. We saw what happened at 66.20. Those are the two most important moments in this trade. So I think I think the tape is really like knowing exactly that tape and knowing kind of what you see in, in that tape. Like you can put yourself in an amazing position here in this setup, in this trade. Hey, go ahead and click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos they're producing for you in the trading community. And please take the time to add your feedback in the comment section for what videos you'd like for us to produce next and what you found helpful from this video from all of us at SMB. Train and trade well.